I mean, it really would have been really helpful if he didn't delete every single fucking, fucking treat. But, you know, it is, a, it is what it is, I guess. So now I have to read every tweet, my tweet here. Which kind of says... Conclusion, there's a group of YouTubers who attempted to present themselves as the center of the commentary community. These same folks dogpile other YouTubers whenever they get the chance. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. They would never face a one-on-one. -on -one. They need the group. Well, there is a stupid uh, rule that YouTube put in place, which is called Creator on Creator Harassment, quote unquote harassment, and uh, unfortunately, if every commentary YouTuber went against each other, uh, that would cause YouTube to panic and, you know, suspend every single commentary channel for having the freedom rights to speak against one another. Which is ironic because I am making a video about this right now. So, yes. These YouTubers bait people to respond and when they get a response, they say the person is too sensitive for responding. It's a cheap tactic to try to invalidate someone's freedom to, to respond and effectively shut them up. These YouTubers try to cloak themselves in this holier-than-thou mental as if they are not prone to doing the exact same things other YouTubers do for clicks. Spoiler alert, they do. These YouTubers use shady tactics to disenfranchise minority creators. They make jokes that hinge on misogyny, they flirt with passionate ideas, and make it as an edginess. The irony of it all is that if you fight back or respond, then they deem you sensitive. If you don't respond, then they run you over. I'm from Brazil. I moved to America myself, by myself, when I was 12 with nothing. I don't run away. And I'm not apologizing for standing up for myself. Well, let me bring bring up the topic here. Uh, yes, sometimes some of the commentary, some people in the commentary community, makes these ridiculously good edgy jokes which happens to have the word retard in it or or saying a bunch of other quote unquote offensive words but that doesn't mean that these jokes are hinge on misogyny and that also doesn't mean that they flirt the, com the community flirt with fascist ideas and mask it as quote unquote edginess. That doesn't mean that. There are no fascist ideas because the, the commentary community are not are not fascist. And if you respond or fight back which you did you you did a whole rant about it and you are kind of sensitive because you don't want to accept the small youtuber's opinion and if you don't accept the small youtuber's opinion then uh, that is fine by you but 
Like, the way you lashed out at a small YouTuber who gave out his opinion about you says a lot, you know. He replied to Cabos, Wow, nice meeting you here, Cabos. You're saying I'm not allowed to respond to Chris Simpson, too? Yeah, I never thought I... There were so many people who were against freedom of expression in the commentary community. Then he replied, Bro, you cried in two videos about me criticizing your content on stream. You can't handle it. And I don't know why Cabos deleted his previous tweet against... Deaf Noodles, I really want to find out what he actually told uh, Deaf Noodles there, but this is another topic for another day as to why people should stop to leading tweets and let the conversation go as is. I support Deaf Noodles, not that spotty teenager who co tried to come for him. If you mean on the RC, He's not a spotty teenager. Okay, he's not a spotty teenager. He's clearly an adult who knows criticism well and he knows how to take it. I mean, no offense to you for defending Deaf News, I have no problem with that, but when you call out on Augie RC or other commentary YouTubers by saying that they are a spotty teenager who tried to come for Deaf News, that is not exactly true at all. They, he is not coming after Deaf News, he's just simply criticizing him. That's what he's been doing. Just like Def News has been critic criticizing to defend himself, even though he won't actually take the criticism and lash out at every commentary YouTuber. I mean, if you want to call Def News' body if you want to call Ali or see a spotty teenager, then you should call Jeff Nunes a spotty adult who, who like, wants to block people for having an opinion, you know. And then some people say that they stand deaf noodles, and then... And, and then we continue on with the tweet saying, I really fucking stand you and fuck those YouTube man child, whatever his name is. Once again, I fucking stand you. His name is Augie RC and he's not a man child. And Aiden there made a Little joke about Deaf Noodles and gave him some criticism in a pretty fair manner. He criticizes and jokes about average for a living but can't handle it when it's done to him. Sad. The, the fact, once again, the fact that you block people, Deaf Noodles, is just really petty. I mean, you obviously care about someone's opinion by a lot. And here's this tweet. So Diff News says, Go Lieutenant says that everyone groups up on him and nobody would debate him one on one. I will invite him to debate me on my straws Twitch channel. The stream will be archived in a respectable, non intimidating fashion. Then Def News replied, why did you delete your tweet, bro? Also dog me down for being freedom of speech of expression. Good luck if you're a fascist. Well, Def News, 
once again, you also de deleted your tweets. So I don't think you should have to say anything. And as I said, that I'm going to someday make a video as to why you should leave your tweets up and not delete them. All in spite of this. He quote tweeted this tweet to Cavos when when I already read here from 18 hours ago. Only I received reply to Death Moves if this is the I was just pretending to he retarded mean then we can just stop here since everything you say is just an epic joke at the end of the day. Then he quote tweet to reply, you were so done hold to go to cleaners and now you keep saying stop. You still haven't responded to this tweet. You mysteriously stopped wanting to respond to it. Did we prefer it? Proverbial cat get get your tongue. I can't say the this word right because it got my time. But that doesn't excuse the fact that you can't accept criticism, especially when you delete several tweets that you made towards the commentary community. Which you replied here, well, little did I know all I had to, all I had to say was that someone can't take criticism in order to completely remove their freedom to respond and slash or post anything related to the criticism. Even it's just a link to the criticism with a funny caption. Then you go on and say, after Augie RC says, nice try, but you already knew that wasn't my argument. Try again. Then you replied, never knew you were typed to back out when it got tough, oh well, which got a screenshot here saying, I mean, you could just do my point, I guess, GG. And then that's when I received replied, are you trolling LFAO? And then you replied, this person has been following me since I had less than 100 followers. If they still don't understand my account, then how will anyone understand me? You're like 26, right? There's no reason to cry over it. I mean, I have defend defended you in a YouTube video once back in, like, September. Because the commentary community made a poor judgment take about the vaping of Charlie D'Amelio. And I had to go after her by saying that uh, she should not be vaping in general. And it's parents' responsibility to take care of her, and they didn't do that. I already replied last time I made a bit of video defending you and going after Charlie D'Amelio. So, there's that. Then some of your fans replied, This kid is an idiot. That's my opinion. You really the only commentary your YouTube that actually thinks rationally and unbiased to these idiot influencers who think they can get away with anything because they're rich, even though they actually do. Well, that... That's not really true at all, really. That's not... Augie RC is not an idiot. That's all I have to say about this. And they're not getting away with anything. Death News is. And once again, you're blocking people for having an opinion about you. I mean, if you're trying to accept criticism, Death News, then you shouldn't block people. 
Nicholas Terry replied that doesn't read passive aggressively at all. Which Which reads the tweet that I already read, which he put in all caps that he is actually being passive aggressive. And then another fan of yours came to Tiffany's defense and said your vid on Fed was probably the worst shit I've seen on YouTube and I fought ISIS bad headaches. He replied under Augie's tweet to Death Noodle saying, I'm live right now if you want to talk. And Augie replied, that's okay, I don't want brain dead people watching my content. And mainly Augie RC replied to Death Noodles here, my dude, you are definitely walking the walking definition of hiding behind quote unquote excuses, but if you really want to chat, let's go on right now and fire up the stream. This page is quiet, as Steph News replied, is, and pin tweet described its intention. If I'm hiding anything, I'm pretty awful at hiding it. Which you're pretty awful at hiding the fact that you can't take criticism, which is why you block people. I get received reply that Def, so Death News demands a conversation. I go live. He pitches out and makes an exposed red calling us racist and I make a bunch of money. Good night. And then another fan of Death News replied, <laughs> You want his 400 plus subscribers and 42k followers. That's all. You are buttered that this new comic got big faster than all of you. Pathetic. Are you RC flat? I hope. Uh, I hold 1.2k viewers playing Crunker. I could give a fuck about your numbers. And he replied all the time, it's getting worse. I just left the chat and have unsubbed. It's been bothering me uh, of late. So best to leave it leave now. All of the chat were mocking death and agreeing with Augie. I was the only one who wasn't. I just gained 500 new ones tonight, so well. Huggy ever see tweets me Dev News hides behind satire when he looks stupid one thousand tweets later. Dev News, Huggy and his friends are masters. And then there's a tweet about that Dev News made to Huggy RC, which he deleted. And thankfully to delete this. Which says you were. S which says uh, the same thing I read, read already. But he replied, I don't know, man. It's a little difficult to have a conversation with you, with someone who, that doesn't actually believe anything they say. Any Everything you say that's stupid is just a joke. So it's impossible to mail you on anything because you're just quote unquote mean when you look dumb. Uh, he replied to that tweet from earlier, which says the opening of this video says you can't take criticism, and then you proceed to tweet it out in the passive aggressive cash into farm dislikes. Nicholas Diori then tweets out this is the worst channel on YouTube, Element AO. How do you butcher your upload this bad? And then lyrics has quote created him an agreement saying been saying this for ages fuck this guy um fao 
and Edmund Capos replied to Nicholas Diario, which apparently happened all the way back to number 26 on, like, Thanksgiving, which he replied, Campbell Death News might cry if you give him any criticism. And... You know, that is kind of a promising to uh, see what Dev News has uh, done in the past. And the name of Sap T, which is actually Turkey Tom, replied here with. Call this dude a cow once, and he has a screenshot of, I think it's every tweet that I already read. As you can see here. And then Nicholas, Nicholas Diorio uh, tweeted Def Con Level Wine Noodles. Then he continued on to say, It's so funny that this guy is talking about using can't take criticism to remove someone's freedom to respond when his entire gimmick is to hide behind its satire like a little bitch. And, and then he continued on. Also, don't tell him something isn't funny or he will explain how he's been in every comedy club from New York to LA. Oh, man. I took one of his, I took one look at his account and assumed his side gate is being a traveling ticket collector at the doors of these venues. Home, AO. I noticed that he didn't respond to this one. Probably because he's n not against you as much as he is with, uh, against Slip Augie RC. But, what? I digress. Then Nicholas Diari tweets out today, today, instant grit. How to respond to a video with 300 views by a YouTuber with under one thousand subscribers which he the youtuber no longer has one under one thousand subscribers he has one thousand subscribers because i saw a video this afternoon and he grew one thousand subscribers since that video was up about deaf noodles Then he continues to reply, breaking news out, definitely most, that will most definitely change your life. This furry made an entire video nearly in tears about how Cavazon's made him quit YouTube. Watch. And then he tweets, tell me, oh, the news is going to clear on timeline. And then he tweets this out. Let me get this straight. Dev News posted a super obvious passive aggressive tweet freaking out over 300 view video, which now has over, I think, 1k views. Went on a 30 quote tweet fan page, made an 80 -ish tweet thread calling us fascists slash women haters, locked like everyone while I was asleep. Dev News, listen, I have nothing against you, really. I have nothing against you. But when you go and lash out at the commentary community, who are definitely now going to have to make videos about you for the rest of this month, or by next year, depending on when this is going to to continue to occur because I'm pretty sure it might occur 
a little further down the line. Does this mean that you should block people for also having an opinion about you or deleting your own tweets to escape criticism? If you are deleting your own tweets to escape criticism instead of taking it like a man, like a macho man, by like head on, then Clearly, you are a you're a pussy, as the tweet from Nicholas Diorio says. And if you don't want to be a pussy, then you definitely shouldn't like try to heavily defend yourself when the pet. That the small, a small YouTuber called you out is saying the truth. And I would hate to put disclaimers on my videos now, but apparently I have to do that because snowflakes like you have to make a response. That looks like when you're like drunk and at a bar, which means you're not supposed to be driving at a when you're at a bar, and you drink too many alcohol beverages, which means you should have called someone and get a ride home and tell and tell them to take you home because you drunk. And that's what you're doing when you tweeted all of this. You look like you're actually drunk at a bar, so you can't really drive home yourself. So someone that you called has to come and pick you up, him or herself, and drive you all the way home. Seriously. I don't know how you try and try and try to like not accept criticism. Like Cabos gave you criticism on your latest live stream. I definitely have defended you once in a YouTube video, like I said before, but. The fact that you went after a small YouTuber based on a tweet you made to a link in the video definitely says the opposite of this. Now, when you're done, when you're done not taking criticism for for your Own actions. I think it's time for you to apologize and accept the results the way they are, because the commentary community are here to give criticism, no matter who or what is is like in the video. Uh, being criticized, and it's really disappointing that you have to do that last night, and you know, not take criticism from anyone. In conclusion, this was. It would. This was poor judgment on your part to, like, go after the commentary community when you clearly contradicted one of your points from before, even though you gave 
a pin tweet, which I highly understand. And I really highly understand that your page is satirical and commentary. That doesn't mean it, that you cannot ever take criticism. And if you if you stated that your opinion is really slash never shared, even though the small YouTuber exposed you for having one, then clearly you're not in the best shape of your life if you're going to go out, out and lash out to people. I am very, like, disappointed in you because I have been a fan of your content for a while. I watched your videos. I haven't watched him regularly right now, but, like, if you are most likely gonna go and attack somebody and call my GFC a pile rock sitting in a closet. then you're kind of making a scummy tactic if you're not likely, I don't know, careful. I mean, you're about to lose like some, sub, some of your subscribers and followers just because you cannot accept criticism. And on your C replied, you asked for a conversation but a right. And then you replied, bro, why would I ask to be on your channel? You literally invited me before through someone else, and I didn't go for a reason. And then you complained about it after I went on Swan Street. And then you replied to Nick. Aren't you the guy who's been falling from alt accounts and quote between me shade for months? You seek the attention you requested. This is all you get. Ooh, so you're going to keep deflecting and saying the way I frame things makes it harder for you to respond? Excuses are nice when you have nothing to say. If you Delete any of your tweets replying to IGRC or other commentary YouTubers, Devin Rose. Then you're the one who can't take criticism. So please take criticism and not delete all of your tweets next time. Because deleting your tweets makes you look even more dumber than you already are. That's all I'm saying here. That's all I ask. Don't do that shit. if he ever gets criticized for it. Remember what I said about him being sensitive? So we can sit here all day talking about how unimportant the vast majority of the news he posts is. I don't know if he'll see this video or not, but he seems to have a habit of responding to comments with no likes, so who knows. Let's move on to his videos. Toxic drama. He likes to pull drama from nothing, and part of this is just a byproduct of having to make a new video every day. This influencer doesn't want to have her photo taken at a restaurant, 
Well, let me speculate that it's because she's embarrassed to be dating a TikToker. Kelly Osborne got exposed for dating a TikToker. Trust me, folks. Kelly Osborne is hiding her face in this video because she doesn't want rumors to go out. It's not because she's embarrassed. I mean, who in their right minds would be embarrassed of dating a TikToker like Griffin Johnson? So when I talk about him either just creating drama from nowhere or making extremely minor things into big things, this is about what I mean. Remember what I said about him just bringing his opinion into things? You don't just get to say that and then claim that it's satire if anybody criticizes you for it. You should